We all can use the excuse of not enough time. We can all use that excuse. But do we all sit for an hour in front of the TV in the night time? Do we all sit for an hour on social media, having a little prat around, have a little bit of scroll? If we all do that, then you've got time right there. Now, I'm I'm a massive um, gym freak. I love dancing and going to the gym. And what I found is I don't have the time to um, catch up on the podcast that I enjoy listening to and start listening to um, a lot of YouTube channels of people that inspire and motivate me. I don't have the time to do that. So now what I do, I play them when I'm in the gym. When I'm on, you know, the blooming squat deck and when I'm actually on my, you know, the cross trainer and stuff, I actually have podcasts on and I actually listen to YouTube channels on when I'm training. So I'm saving time uh, because I really still want to train in the gym. And I get to a stage where I'm like, oh God, I want to go to the gym, but yeah, I know I need to work on content. I know I need to develop my skills. I know I need to motivate myself by listening to these motivational podcasts. How the hell can I do all this at the same time? So that's what I do. And this is a beautiful thing about podcasts, you know, I, or hopefully, well, I wonder where you guys are and what you guys are listening, what device you're listening to me from today or whereabouts you are. Um, but I always listen to my podcast when I'm at home cleaning, pottering around, when I'm at the gym, when I walk to the shops. That is when I listen to my podcast and that is when I listen to things that help motivate me and keep me on track. So that is something that I encourage you guys to do. So if you really think that, you know what, I haven't got the time, I really haven't got the time, you can easily just motivate yourself and if you motivate yourself, you're then going to make time. You can easily do that by bringing in podcasts, YouTube channels, Facebook um, live videos, all of that. You can re-watch these and listen to these when you are walking to the shops, when you are at the gym, when you're going for a run. You can easily do that. And I know everybody has got time. Now, talking about time, we are, like I say, most people that are listening to this are in the personal care industry, so they do cram their diary back to back and get clients booked in all the time. But is this make is this getting you to where you want in your business freedom and development? And if it's not, and if you've got bigger things that you want to be working on, like what I have done with manufacturing my own line, what you need to do is you need to make time in the diary to do that. You can't just think, you know what, cram the clients in, cram the clients in, time for money, time for money, time for money. You need to think to yourself, well, you know what, I'm going to allocate myself 10 hours that week. 10 hours that week for personal business development and expansion. And that is what you need to do. You need to not be enticed by that new client, that new client that wants to book you, that, oh, I don't really quit, squeeze there and get 100 quid. You need to make sure that your hours that you're allocating for business development is allocated for business development.